First of all, download your images for free. The links are located in the video description and then open your first image. Then then go to your images folder again and just click and drag the other image to Photoshop like this. Double click on the image to commit the transformation. Change the blending mode to hue like this. And it already looks very good. Let's zoom in a couple of times. Control plus and then Control plus T on your keyboard. Then right click and choose War. Now select here to split the warp crosswise and let's first click somewhere at the corner of this window like this. Now click here to split the warp vertically and click somewhere in the middle of the front of the car or in the middle of the window click in the middle of the window and now let's click and drag this left point located at the bottom left of the warp and drag it to the car here. Let's drag this point here and notice the handles next to each point that you can move to further adjust the warp. So let's select the lower one let me zoom in because it's not easy to see so somewhere here you should have another handle let's drag it like this so that the texture follows better the shape of the car let's adjust this one in the middle of the window so put it somewhere where this white line in the middle front should end now at the very bottom drag the middle point like this to where the center of the front should be and let's also adjust the handle of it drag it a little bit up select the middle point the middle of the window and let's drag its handle to let's drag it all the handle all the way to the point the center of the point like this and let's drag the bottom left handle and I think I might confuse left for right earlier but This happens sometimes to everyone, I think. Just watch carefully to see where the mouse cursor is. And basically just drag the next one to follow the shape of the car. Drag it to the edge of the car. 
and with the warp tool you need to practice to really understand it so don't worry if it doesn't look perfect the first time and let's choose this one split warp horizontally and at one more somewhere the center of the front like this let's click and drag this handle i think it's too much distortion in the middle so let's bring it closer to the center point select the center point again and let's bring I don't know, let me see what looks like it follows the shape of the car. And my Photoshop is lagging a little bit, but I think it's fast enough. So let's also just this one. and this one rotate this one again and this one and notice that the points are connected to each other so when you change one of the warp points the others also change so be careful with this And I think that it that this is enough for now. Just keep making the adjustments or if you really don't like it drag the pattern again on a new document and start over when you're finished when you're finished with the adjustments just click right here to commit the transformation and Finally, click here to add a layer mask to the pattern. Select your brush tool. Let's say it's a soft round brush. Let's set the hardness to, I think 26 is fine. Let's increase the size a little bit with right square bracket. And just click and drag on the areas that you don't want the pattern to affect. So I have some pattern in the background. It's a little bit blended, so you can't see it very well. But that's basically it. You click and drag to remove, or you make car select action and you use it to perfectly set the pattern to affect only the car and not the background and this is it I think it looks good. I hope you learned something new that you can use in this tutorial. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel Damian Photoshop and please like the video. Thank you.